Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back or for joining me. My name is Joanna and I am your intuitive medium and intuitive coach. Um, these are going to be your readings for the month of May. I'm going to keep this very short and very brief. Um, I want to say first and foremost, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing to my videos. Uh, please keep in mind these are general videos, so they may not apply to you. Uh, some parts may apply to you, some Sometimes the entire thing may apply to you and sometimes none of it will apply to you and that's okay. Uh, do watch your rising sign, your moon sign and your sun sign because these will often create a much clearer picture of what's going on in your life or how it's reflected um, in your particular case. If you would like a private session, that information is down below for you and always remember that if you uh, send me an email regarding uh, how the readings pertain to you, I have no way of knowing that until I actually connect with you when I have a session with you so if that is what you wish uh, that information is down below for you um, aside from the fact that may feels very significant but I think I always say that everything is very significant but there are some planetary changes happening in the month of May uh, the Sun um, sorry the planet of Uranus is entering the Sun of Taurus and with that comes significant changes for the next little while so be prepared to shift to change to to even evolve to become much more enlightened and a lot of the readings do reflect that so without further ado thank you so much again um, let's move on to your individual readings I will see you soon hello beautiful Sagittarians this is going to be your reading for the month of May 2018 let me start off by saying um, that you are in an energy of expansion there is a very real shift that's about to transpire and you're about to move from the old world to the new world you actually have the card between two worlds you have the numbers one and two around you one is all about new beginnings and two is all about choices and decisions it comes to the number three which is all about expansion so i feel like in the month of may particularly i want to say around the 15th there seems to be a rebalancing act going on in your life or there will be a need for you to remain very balanced balanced. One of the cards that came up to me right away was the card of temperance, which is all about balance. It's all about tempering. It's not about too much one way, too much the other. It's all about uh, uh, creating or or living from from more balanced state within. And of course, I always say when we are more balanced within, when we come from a place of harmony, our life can change drastically. I saw you taking the time and enjoying nature or enjoying um, some sort of relaxation. So this is a message for those of you who are uh, working really hard and you need some time away. It's, uh, you know, you don't need permission, uh, hopefully, but uh, there is really, uh, there's a, a, a focus here on emphasis on needing to spend some times outdoors and of course when we come from a long winter particularly depending on when you live and we're stuck out inside for a long time sometimes that make it make us feel very blue depressed whatever it is uh, nature is also very healing as you guys know so i saw you having doing some kind of an activity this could be fishing this could be uh, bowling outside this could be just going outside and smelling the trees it could be anything but they're saying to me busy schedule so for those of you who have a very busy schedule it's really important for you to take some time out for relaxation and then I hear the words I don't know how some of you may not know how to relax and if that's the case well then you've got some researching to do um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more I saw you doing activities that in inspire your creativity so whether it is um, enrolling in some sort of a course that you're interested whether it is joining some sort of a group um, and there is an activity that you like but it, it has a, it has a lot of inspirational component to it so it gets your it gets your motivational and your creative juices going for some of you this could be painting for some of you this could be drawing artwork anything to do with your hands this can also be about um, putting some things together to build something for the purpose of pure enjoyment of it. Art is what I hear, so for some of you this is about art. For others of you, it's just doing activity that is fun and that is inspiring, that gets you out of the house and that makes you feel 
young again. And I always say, I don't care how old we are, it's how we feel at heart. So for many of you, this is a, this is a strong, strong message uh, to get yourself out of there, particularly if you have been in isolation for a while. I saw, oh, the other thing they said, laugh more. So some of you may have been quite serious for a while. Laughter is, as you know, wonderful medicine, healing medicine. There is, uh, the message clearly says, laugh more often. So, you know, go to a movie, see a comedy, go to uh, uh, impromptu comedy, uh, do things that inspire you, make you laugh, do silly things to make you laugh. Uh, and crack a smile once in an open is what I want to say. So for those of you who are very serious, it's time to, it's time to let the inner kid out, all for the purpose of relaxation and rejuvenation. Um, some of you I saw taking a thrilling activity, and this was something that I wouldn't do, like jumpy, bungee jumping. So I'm not saying all of you are going to go jump bungee jumping all of a sudden, but there, some of you at least will um, participate in some, some sort of a thrilling um, activity. What I did see, I saw bungee jumping and I saw like when you go on a, when you go on a, on a wire and you go through like a forest or a park from a very high up, I don't know what it's called, but that is also what I saw. Some of you might be taking up an activity like, um, you know, skate, skateboarding or, or snow, sh snowshoeing, snowshoeing, shoe snow, sh snowshoeing. Yes. Uh, snowshoeing um, it could be you know taking up um, something else but something that excites you could be a brand new um, workout regimen but I saw some of you doing that now we talked about the numbers already two cards that I have for you as far as the animal spirit beautiful you have the elk so the elk represents a father figure obviously if you're a female you're not a father figure but this represents an energy that is very stable that is very solid uh, that is very nurturing very balanced so what this message is saying here is Adopt an energy of an elk. Approach everything from a balanced state of mind. You have the temperance as a card just popped out and they said this is kind of the theme. So balance, the word balance and temperance is coming up in various sources. For some of you, your father is has a great influence on you or had great influence on you. I'm going to just continue with this card. The next card you have is the scorpion and I want to talk about those two cards um, actually together because what I felt was that for some of you so let me just talk about the scorpion this is a very quick energy um, it has a bite to it it can have a tendency to to hold on to some anger and resentment and it may come out in very fiery ways uh, this could be someone who has uh, challenges with control what this message is saying here is Allow the Scorpion energy to heal you by letting go of some old pain and some old hurts. And when we hold on to this stuff for a long time, we eventually do develop anger and resentment. That's just the way it goes. Um, if you have a very fiery temperament, um, particularly if it's fueled by a lot of anger, um, you know, you may resist this message, uh, but he's asking me to say it for a reason. And I always say when we tr are truly honest with ourselves and you have that card, uh, then we can all, then we can make headways. But what I was also shown is that for some of you, the source of anger, resentment, or some unfinished business is a father figure. OK, or somebody who would have been like a father to you or, you know, a, a, someone who stood up for a father or somebody you looked up to. Uh, that's what came for me. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be for all of you, but it will be uh, definitely for some of you. For some of you, I feel your, your father might have been hot headed uh, or he might have, you know, you may have butted heads with him. Uh, there is something around a father figure for some of you when it comes to the hot energy of anger or, you know, outbursts of anger, prickly energy. Now, what are you going to focus on? Well, the month of May is, again, a time of transition. Why did I say again? I'm not sure. But it is a time of transition. I think, again, it's because most signs got this message in some way, shape, or form. So what this is saying here is that in the month of May, you, know, you may not see everything clearly, 
but you are definitely moving into calmer waters. You're moving from this gray energy to this opulent, bright energy. The, sec the, the component of security is coming up, and this could be financial, this signifying red. So you might be moving from a place of financial instability to something that's much more stable. The colors to me represent creativity. For some of you, you are moving into much more creative energy or much more you will feel much more creative for some of you you are literally moving out of depression or feeling blue or feeling gray so what it's saying here is in a month of may yes you may not see everything change but for the most part you should be able to see the newness approaching and sometimes it's just a feeling also, if you have some choices and decisions to make and you don't know what to do with it or how to go about it, it's a lot of it is because you're not you're in transition. So you're not in the old ways, you're not in the new ways yet, you're kind of sort of in between. And I always say it's like having uh, blinders on your eyes you can't see. And the best way to move through the spirit is through feeling it out. So let your intuition guide you. Because you are in transitions, it is incredibly important for you to be very honest with ones, with yourself and with other people. So this card is showing to me in reverse. And this is saying, basic, for some of you, is there something that you are not willing to look at? Is there something that you are choosing not to uh, voice is there is somebody hiding something from you so this is about being very mindful of you know your choices and decisions and what drives you and particularly because you are moving to a different category category to a different to a different place it is important to be honest with yourself so you don't end up doing the same old same old in the upright position it's again the same thing it's about this is time to be very brutally honest with yourself and also with another but not in a prickly way not with anger not with resentment i'm going to feel this way so i'm going to be honest with you no because that's very damaging this is about being honest in a way that is productive versus one that is uh, you know punching holes in the wall and it's important to First of all, know your truth, understand your truth. And it's also important to allow that truth to come out. And it's also about allowing others to be honest with you, allowing others to be open with you, okay? Um, the Scorpion card talks about being burned in the past. If you have been burned in the past, chances are you, you know, you kind of block yourself because you want to protect yourself but the message here is let the old wounds heal so that everybody can heal including you so that you can move on into bigger and brighter and brighter future message in a bottle is all about you receiving messages i feel you well i think we all ask for messages from spirit or whoever but angels guides universe but this is about noticing the messages that come to you they may come to you out of nowhere for example i may say something that you just go oh my god she said she said this to me and by the way i hear that all the time uh this could be as simple as somebody on a string passing and saying something to you and you go that just raised hair on my arms. It could be a song you're hearing and it reminds you of somebody and it's happening over and over and somebody's trying to communicate to you. So you've asked for messages, messages will be shown to you. They may not come in conventional ways, so pay attention. The other part of the message I do want to address, even though it didn't show up in this case, that for some of you, you might be asking for, for answers and you're, but you're not willing to own them. In other words, sometimes when we ask for an answer, like, for example, what do I do in order to get out of the situation? And a message comes to you over and over, you have to make a choice. But you're like, no, I don't want to make a choice. I'm just going to stay here. Some, you know, if something happens for me, it'll be easier. So what this is saying here is, yes, you've been asking for signs. Signs will be given to you, but don't ignore them. Don't ignore them just because they don't fit 
what you were looking for because remember you are moving from being one way to being another way and yes it's a transition yes it takes time absolutely so it's a process um and spirit or you know universe will guide you through it but sometimes the guidance is that you need to do the things you don't want to do because it's uncomfortable so therefore you don't want to bother problem is that if that's what's necessary then you have to look at it okay so this is going to mean different things for different people it can connect obviously with any um, aspect of one's life now i said show me three cards in may well again you've got you've got the wheel of fortune you've got nine of swords and you have six of swords in reverse so this is about again i want to say the word transitions but i feel because you're going through you know uh, transition it wouldn't surprise me if a whole bunch of fears are coming up to the surface for you if that's the case it's time to be very honest with yourself and allow other people to be honest with you and you being honest with other people maybe some things need to be brought up to the surface and maybe for the very first time so watch out for thoughts watch out for sleepless nights i think i said this to scorpio as well this card indicates to me not being able to sleep um uh, also something around full moon so if you have any challenges sleeping around full moon that i'm getting that right now um for some of you hmm, okay for some of you meditation around full full moon is extraordinarily beneficial now i don't know if it's because it's some of you or it's for all of us but i you know this is a message that's coming to me so i'm supposed to say it uh, some of you might be night owls and if that's the case then yes you will not be sleeping at night but more than anything i feel like you there may be some worries uh, about your future in the month of may uh, all i'm going to say here is you know look for the messages look for signs because it's coming but also remember when you're moving through transition when you're coming from one world to another i best i said the best way to do this is through a feeling so you may not not know logically but certainly for the most part, I feel that you'll be able to feel what your intuition is telling you. The Six of Wands suggests that it's time to move on and maybe you're not. So there's a, there's a feeling here of needing to stay stuck to your past. Remember, you can't because you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving to bigger and better. And this can be as simple as you're shifting inside or as drastic as your entire uh, world in you know in a relationship has to change so it could be you know anywhere in our life but this is saying here it's time to move on particularly because you have wheel of fortune okay it's time to move on but something is preventing you from doing that so if you are stuck if you are feeling you know stuck and you are changing Ask yourself the question, what is it that's keeping me stuck? What is preventing me from moving on? For some of you, chances are you have some unfinished business in uh, with a person who may no longer be part of your life or in your life. Or you may have unfinished business with the person you are in, and it's time to be very, very, very honest. Okay? Now, 10 of, uh, sorry, Wheel of Fortune comes in in reverse, and all this is saying to me is yes in fact you are at an end of a cycle but because it's shown to me in reverse it's saying to me what's preventing you from moving on same message basically the same message because i feel like there might be some resistance in not wanting to move on or resistance to wanting to and something that should have been and that should have ended a long time ago again this could be a belief system this could be anything remember this is all about you being balanced it's about harmony it's about balance harm that's the best way that i can describe it and you are in an energy of growth which is three which is also very nurturing um which is also very expansive so as you close one door another door will surely open and i know i'm talking in riddles but He's asking me to say, for some of you, this is going to be career change. Some of you, this is going to be a relationship change. Some of you, it's going to be a move. You have to move from one place to another. And if you haven't, and if, and if you're not making that choice, eventually that choice will be made for you. So if you, listen, you are getting signs or you will be getting signs. So 
just because they may show up in a way that you don't want them to show up, don't resist the changes. Listen to the messages, okay? Is there anything I need to tell them? Yes, crossroads. So same thing, right? You know, between two worlds, that's basically moving from one way of being to another. You are crossroads. Many, many of us are. And I think it's just something that we are going through energetically and we are going through massive changes. Uranus in Taurus coming on May 15th is definitely going to start that into motion or put that into motion. So it doesn't surprise me that you have these messages as well, but all of these things are always meant to help us move into bigger, better. So what I want to say here is for those of you who feel a shift, for those of you who know there is a change, for those of you who are facing a change, don't resist it. When we resist, it persists. We Sometimes we have to go through scenarios in order to understand something in our own skin and if we cannot change what's happening the only way we can deal with it effectively is to embrace what's happening and just keep on moving you are you are moving into a bigger and better and brighter future okay so that much i do want you to know all right I hope this was helpful. If this makes no sense to you at the beginning of the month, listen to it at the end of the month. Um, the other signs will also help you, your rising sign and your moon sign. I do wish you a wonderful time or one, yeah, I do wish you best of luck in May. Uh, for those of you who need to take time out in nature, please do so, it's your medicine. For those of you who are going to be enjoying some fun activities, good luck and I hope uh, you, know, you continue to do so. Uh, and more than anything, uh, where you're going is a far better place and sometimes well oftentimes we can't see it right so have faith have faith and face you're in transitions i wish you best of luck uh, i want to say god bless you which i which i never say that's really interesting okay god bless you um interesting uh best of luck and i look forward to seeing you soon take care